Hello guys, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Joy here with you. I'll be doing on the list for you just for the lockdown days. We're having some fun and I've been doing this new series called Give Me Three and also Top 10, Top 15 list, Top 20 list. So today we're going to be doing uh, this year's edition of 2020, uh, the top 15 sweet fragrances in my collection. And these are strictly from my collection. Remember that mix of most designers and few niche. Uh, there are plenty more out there. So these are not universal or absolute. These are just from my current sentiments. Second thing is uh, many other popular fragrances like Durham Intense, Language Alarm, even Wajan, uh, One Million. If you do not see them in the list, do not think those are bad fragrances because they are kind of obvious. Uh, I have to show some of the other ones that need a little bit more love. Understand the concept. Hopefully you will feel the vibe. And uh, I want to start off with, uh, I think, sorry, one other thing. I did this in 2017 for the first time. Then I did 2019. I think I missed 2018, so this is 2020, 2020 list. So I'll start with honorable mention. The honorable mention reason being this is discontinued. If you find it somewhere definitely highly recommended by me, this is a flanker from Language Alum line. Uh, this is YSL Language Alum Law in Towns. This features iris and I think it has some spices, but uh, there is also some vanilla on dry down. It is very sexy. This fragrance in terms of smell, this is one of the best language alone flankers in the market, highly underrated. Juice color is really beautiful. And I, I would suggest if you like Diorome Intense, those kind of fragrances, imagine Diorome Intense and language had a baby, this is what you're gonna get. So that's my honorable mention. And now, starting from 15 all the way to one, different fragrances have different sources of sweetness. I will speak very briefly because I reviewed them all. Check out my full, full on individual review, you'll understand better. I'll start with this perfume. This fragrance from House of Asaro, and I bought this like last month, not this month, last month. Uh, very beautiful juice color and beautiful juice. Asaro, Purom, Naughty, Leather. If you think the juice is blue, yes, it is blue. It's not just the bottle. It's very eye-catching. It looks like aquatic, but it has kind of like ultra male sort of sweetness. I really enjoy that. Mild, mild leather, but very wearable. And it's really beautiful. It's a crowd pleaser. It lasts about four to five hours. Check it out. Asaro, Purom, Naughty, Leather, number 15. Number 14 is a fragrance hated by many, loved by me. This is Thierry Mugle, rather Mugle Ultimate, okay? This features beautiful cappuccino, sweet, kind of candy-like, very easy to wear uh, vibe. It's almost like a sweet gourmand fragrance from House of Mugle. This one, if you like cappuccino, you would wear this in Starbucks or Coffee Bean, okay? So I love Ultimate a lot from House of Mugle, second, um, fragrance from the list number 14 ultimate by Mugle <clears throat> number 13 is a new buy this is an inex inexpensive kind of perfume uh, not super cheap but it's around 30 35 dollars highly recommended by me if you like house of armoff try this one this is armoff magnificent forum i'll write down the names this features very heavy bottle nice bottle nice smell very long lasting apple vanilla combo if you like pure excess by pakoraban this one gives you that feel without the booziness for the half price okay that's it try it out this is my favorite arm of alongside city name right now okay arm of magnificent Puro, number 13 number 12 a freshie this is Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct one of my most favorite bottle designs juice color very premium and it's worth the money if you like melon smell if you like kind of like a ozonic sort of a fruity fresh perfume kind of like gives you feel of coconut also this is a fragrance I highly recommend, okay? Try it out, you will not be disappointed. First Instinct by Abercrombie and Fitch, number 12. Number 11 is a fragrance. Uh, this one should have been up there in the list, but with time, I think, for the sweet category, this one, it's still in the list, but not so hum so much up there. It has a rose, uh, I think rose and some, I don't know, some fruity notes that makes it sweet, but nonetheless, very good fragrance. This is Rojas Mustache EDP, Eau de Parfum. One of my most favorite fragrances, one of the beautiful bottles. Really like it, it's very unique and it's said to be a clone of YSL Tuxedo, but on its own, it's a beautiful fragrance and comes in a very good budget. And you can get like 120 mil, 125 mil, very good fragrance for cooler weather. Rojas, Mustache, EDP. Now, uh, we're getting into the top 10. Top 10, obviously, understand that these are gonna be my more favorite than the last five, but uh, they're all good, okay? You can like them equally. Number 10, Versace Eros Flame. I love this perfume a lot. This fragrance is high up there, you know, beating the last five for a reason, okay? This one comes from the Chinoto note. 
and I think it's very sweet, very bright, and very uh, mouth-watering kind of opening for first two hours. This perfume is absolute like a out say magical fragrance. Okay, I love the vanilla tonka dry down, just like the original Eros, but this is more entertaining, beautiful bottle and more um, modernized. Okay, Versace Eros flame number ten. Number nine is a fragrance is mine, one of my signature scents. Always hype it up. CK reveal for him. If you love sweet, long lasting, boozy, kind of leathery, uh, kind of fragrance, and you don't have like you want. Like you have a lot of fragrance, but you want something different, you know, on a budget. This one comes in 35, a maximum $40. I think $35, $30, you can buy this 100 ml. CK Reveal is the best from this house, in my humble opinion, okay? Definitely try it out. Beautiful, sweet, exotic fragrance. CK Reveal for him, number nine. Number eight, Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. This one, it's a pre-reformulation. I mean, this is like a BPI version, I think. I don't know what that stands for, I forgot, but... Even in the new ones, they are very sweet. It features bubblegummy sweetness, vanilla, uh, kind of like they have fruity notes. You know, there's a pear, I get pineapple. This one I compare it with Savage, Aventus. It's as good as those, trust me. And it's beautiful, long lasting, sweet perfume. People like this kind of, so if you have a sweet tooth, this is a must in your collection, okay? So Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ultra Male. Number seven, I think. Yes, number seven is a fragrance, it's a female perfume and I have picked it up because I want to actually talk about it. This is one of the best Mugler I've ever produced. It's easily unisex because Mugler, the Angel, Alien, all of them are pretty much unisex. So is this Angel Muse. I cannot speak so many good things like enough about it because uh, I think that would not do justice. But this perfume is just stunning. Caramelized, sugary. Sweet, it's very sweet, very long lasting, very intoxicating. And women love this beautiful bottle. So, this is a perfume I would highly recommend to you if you like sweet perfumes. Okay, Thierry Nuble, Angel Muse. Number six, and then we're gonna go to top five. Uh, yeah, top five. This is very difficult. Number six is my favorite perfume, Stronger With You, Intensely. Some people say this is not much different than the original. I humbly disagree because this is a lot more intensified sugariness. You know, it's like a roasted chestnut and it's like marshmallow. If you if you think of all the sweet, good things in life, this is like cotton candy, candy floss, you know, think of uh, by the fireplace with all the smokiness, Christmas time. This is sugary, syrupy goodness, okay? So Stronger With You, Intensely by Armani. That's number six. So now, what are the top five? This must be the best ones, right? <laughs> because I have put them in top five. Yeah, I kind of, okay. But it, it broke my heart like like last, you know, the 10 to six were also very good. So here we go. Number five, my recommendation is 1821 Sweet Tobacco Spirit Man Made. One of the best uh, tobacco based scents with a red wine accord. The sweetness comes from a red wine and honey. It's very unique, very, very intoxicating very addictive guys Oof, this is niche quality juice this one is definitely worth every single penny if you are looking for something in line of herod if you're looking for something nexus or pure heaven this is right right up there with those big fellas okay 1821 main man-made sweet tobacco spirit okay amazing tobacco scent number four one of my most favorite fragrance of all time can you guess what it is you can hear the sound <laughs> this is spike bomb extreme many people love it and I was not the biggest fan of it earlier, but that added vanilla and the tobacco amped up, a little bit less spices. This is a gorgeous little scent. If you haven't tried it, this is hidden gem, okay? After a few days, this one and the fresh version, I think will be a little bit rare to find. So if you wanna buy it, buy it now. I think it will be a good thing to collect. This has niche quality. If you like Parfum de Marley fragrances, this one can easily be in your list. Spice Bomb Extreme. So top three. Number three is my sweetheart. This is Instant Crush by Mancera. This is a niche house definitely, but very affordable. You can get this under $85, dollars different countries, worth every penny. Kind of feels like uh, Baccarat Rouge, but it has its own smell. A little bit synthetic, but it's good. It has some freshness up top. It has its own smell, lasts on your shirt for 24 hours plus, okay? And 120 ml juice, you cannot go wrong with this. Mancera. It's, this is the best fragrance in my humble opinion. I really love it. If I just want compliments, if I want to get noticed, I just go two sprays. That's it. That's all that takes. Mancera Instant Crush number three. Number two and number one. Yes. Big, big fragrances. Uh, 
I wanted to make this number one, but it's the number one is just too good. <laughs> but this is not a joke. This fragrance is my latest purchase. You guys know what that is, but this I feel until now I reviewed about <clears throat> 12, 13, 14. Uh, this Martin Margiela, uh, Mason Martin Margiela replica line, but this I found alongside by the fireplace. This is one of their best. This is uh, lipstick on. Uh, this is look at the juice. I just went through this like I did not decant anything. I just wore it all by myself on my neck. This one, in short, in a nutshell, check out my review. In a nutshell, this one replaces Fave Delicious for me from House of Dior, Previa Line. That one has huge price tag, very expensive, very good quality. Tonka, I get a little bit cherry, they got iris lipstick, original lipstick smell. And I believe this fragrance is just a, it's for the price, what it comes from, it's, it's a niche quality juice, guys. You know, you have to try it. Lipstick On by Mason Martin Margiela. This is number two. And that leads me to number one. I really think any other fragrance, you know, I have reviewed many fragrances, you know. Uh, some of the fragrances got so close to me. Um, if I could fall in love with some fragrances, this is going to be one of them. This is from House of Roja Dove. This is Enigma or Creation E. I have the Parfum Cologne. This has the cola sweetness, you know, like the sweetness come from the cola, you know, like a cola vibe. There's a, there is a tobacco. Oh man, this is so good. This is just out of this world, okay? So if you like sweet fragrance, it will get you noticed six, seven, eight hours easily. Four or five hours, it projects really well. Cold weather scent, nighttime scent. It's a very sensual perfume, but highly recommend this one. Enigma by Roja Dove. This is one of their most affordable versions, okay? You can try the elite version. That's going to be even thicker. So that's my uh, top 15 sweet perfumes. I know I missed many. What are your sweet top favorite fragrances? Do let others know. And please join my group, Rakon Bangladesh. We'll see you there. Have a very nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.